All right, so we've created our first team for providing professional development, and now it's time to start adding members or asking members to join our team. There are a couple of different ways that we can do this. We can start by adding members ourselves if we already know the list of individuals who are going to be participating in our professional development or community of practice. So here I am in the center panel and I am hovering over the name of my team. To the far right, I see three dots. This is the more options menu. If I click on this, I have a couple of different ways that I can go about getting to the place where I need to add people. I can either go through manage team and then in manage team I can click add members here or again in those three dots that more options menu I can just select add member. Either way if I'm choosing to add the members if they are part of our organization, so part of ECSD, I can just simply start typing their names. And notice that they pop up in a list. Okay, and I just select them and notice that I can add multiple people um, at the same time. Once I have found a couple of people um, that I wish to add or all the people that I need to add, uh, I just simply click add. Okay. And you'll notice right away that they are added as members. In the next video, we'll talk about the difference between members and owners. I'm just simply going to close this window. Let's go back to the manage team view. So if I click on the three dots for more options and select manage team, I will be brought to a screen that looks like so, where I can see the owners. In this case, I'm the only owner. And I can see that I have two members that I have added, Danny and John Ned. Now, something to keep in mind when I click add member, that I can actually add guests, um, people who are outside of our ECSD organization. I would just simply type their email address and click add. Now, you do not have to go through this process of adding members manually. Another way that you can bring people into your team is on the day of, say, your first PD with your group, you can go to your team, the three dots, Manage Team. Here inside the Manage Team screen, up at the top you will see a variety of tabs. Click on the Settings tab. In the Settings tab, you will see towards the bottom, Team Code. If you click on that and click Generate, a Team Code will be generated for this particular team. You can even display this code by clicking full screen. Participants of your PD can now simply go to join or create team here at the bottom of that center panel. And here where it says join a team with a code, they can simply enter that code and click join team. Now, something to keep in mind, let's just go back to Manage Team, to Settings, and to Team Code. You can always reset the Team Code, okay, if you need to, and you can remove the Team Code. So once you have everyone that you want entered in uh, to your team, you could always just reset the Team Code or remove the Team Code. Something to keep in mind is that guests or people who are outside of our organization will not be able to join with a team code. You will have to manually add them. Once your members enter the team code requesting to join your team, you will have to come to manage team 
And here, along the top in the tabs, click Pending Requests. Here you will see individuals who have requested to join your team and you can approve them um, as those requests come along. Whether you choose to manually add members to your team or just provide the join code, either way it's easy to get individuals into your team to get up and running.